Okay, so what's up everybody, Super Sandwich 713 here. Last time we completed the bob -omb Cup, this time we'll be moving on to the Fake Item Box Cup. So... That's the interesting thing about the Fake Item Box, is that its abbreviation is FIB, and FIB means lie, so... The Item Box is a lie, I kinda like just realized that, so... It's pretty cool. So as to how we're, who we're actually going to use here, I'm not sure. I think we should take a look at the cup first, though. I'm trying to think of an aquatic character, though. Let's just choose Bowser and see what the cup consists of. I know a couple of the courses, at least, already. Okay, so we have Mario Circuit 1, Green Hill Zone, Sunset Circuit, and Cheap Cheap Beach. So if we're ever going to play as Mario, I think now is as good a time as any. Uh, I actually am trying to play as uh, a bunch of the different characters. I figure it would be an okay idea. You know, just get show off, you know, like all the characters. And I actually have a lot of custom textures, like I said, so you can see all the custom character textures that I'm using. I turned down the volume from the last episode. I haven't checked out the last episode yet, but if the volume is kind of drowning out my voice, I do apologize. I turned it down for this episode, though, and I know for sure now that my voice will be able to be heard. Okay, well, this course is nice and breezy. This cup doesn't exactly have like the most exciting courses ever, but you know, the courses are still okay, you know. Although that Green Hill Zone, like they need to put in the second version of it, which actually does have like a Green Hill Zone loop in it. But like the first version is just utterly terrible, like it, it's not even really Green Hill Zone, it's just like a flat circuit with square turns. It looks very, you know. It's like they didn't know how to do curves or elevation change or anything, basically. Like, you know. So, this is pretty decent. There's so much noise coming from outside, though. Like, I don't even know what's up with that. Yeah, this, this place is chilled. Okay, took that turn professionally. Okay, so there we go. Uh, I just randomly say, there we go. <laughs> Even if we haven't exactly done anything different. Like, there we go, we got an item. And yeah, we got ourselves a pretty decent lead right now. I, I do like using medium characters with the standard bike. It's, I might even prefer using it over small characters with like the bit bike. But I do I do really like the medium character standard bike. It's nice and smooth feeling. You guys can probably see me in the reflection right now. It's pretty weird. I'll try to fix that reflection issue sometime. I'm not even sure what's causing it, but I'm pretty sure it's because of the amount of light in this room. I could try to make this room as dark as possible, but I don't know. Whatever, I'll fix it by the next episode. See, like, they have a background that's decent, but the actual course itself, like, geez, like, just... And I'm surprised this course is still around like this, like, I thought for sure in the update that if any course was going to be got rid of, it would be like this one. Because this course isn't that good, like, the textures are good, but, you know, the actual course itself is just, like... What did they do? Oh no. I was trying to take that turn professionally, but alas, these turns are very square. Turns are too square for me. Okay. I don't know what to say. I mean, I like the course okay, but just you think that it would have gotten updated by now. So yeah, 
It's also kind of hard to see where you can actually fall off and not. Like, the grass texture that they use is, like, really dark. Oh, right, because I just got in first. Oh, yeah, and if you didn't see where I just got blue shelled, like, the sky, like, if you see that waterfallish looking texture in the background, like, they all lead up to some sort of central point at the top of the dome shaped thing. I don't even know what to call it, but I don't know. I'll do more details about stuff like that in courses later. There's a lot of stuff to explore. Hopefully going to be starting a custom track expedition series, if I haven't already by the time this thing has been uploaded. Uh, yeah, that should be pretty interesting. Uh, custom tracks for life, man. Just going to go ahead and take a moment to say that, because custom tracks are just great, you know. Even tracks like this, they're still good, like... Just the fact that there was enough creativity to make something other than what Nintendo had to offer. I like it. And there's some, like, Last Cup, like Molten Mountain Way, like some of the courses like top all the Nintendo courses, in my, in my opinion. Sky Beach, actually, is another one of my favorites. Like, it's probably, it may or may not be tied with Molten Mountain Way. Like, I don't think I have quite as much fun playing it, depending. But Sky Beats, like the newest version, is just like really gorgeous course and it's like a awesome course. So yeah. Haunter card. Sunset Circuit. All the sunset courses are really good except for this one, I'd like to say. Like this course is okay, but not that good at all. Like, it's just another flat course. I do believe it has a speed modifier, like, if you look at the map shape, not exactly the most exciting of courses. But then they add this, like, speed, like, jeez, and you know, like, the speed. Oh gosh. So when we're in for a speedy race. Okay. This isn't a very user-friendly course, I guess you could say. I don't know, I'm trying to think of a bike or cart that would actually be able to take these corners right. I guess an inside drifter. That's the main thing they're good at, is taking tight turns. Oh my gosh. So this is pretty... Oh my. Wow dual shock combo thing. So this is a 7 lapper. There's another 7 lapper I believe, being the uh, GP Mario Beach, although it's much more exciting than this. You know what, this course works. I Normally I would hate these courses more, but today I'm feeling very happy about the custom courses. Glad that they exist. Hmm. Actually, these boost panels can be taken very interestingly. Like, you can use these to cut off some good portions of the course. So, yeah. At least they have some sort of strategy involved with the boost panels that I just completely missed right there. Okay, so there's also some sort of mega shortcut as well. Although, this right here is a pretty good minor shortcut. Okay, so lap six, I just draw it out towards the length of a normal race just by adding so many laps to it. Okay. Got lucky there, I didn't have to get hit by both items. Wow, this is just splendid times on this course. Okay, we're on to the final lap getting close to being done with this course. And then I think cheap cheap beep some <laughs> cheap cheap beep, okay. Cheap cheap uh beach um is the final course I believe and that's actually a pretty decent course. And it looks really good on this most recent update. I do believe it used to be a lot uglier though. Let's go ahead and check it out. Sorry we go we beat everybody by at least five seconds. So, next race. Yeah, DS Cheap Cheap Beach, and they made it look really nice. Like, 
I like the water textures that they used for like courses like this one and uh, you know Koopa Troopa Beach. Like both courses have like really good water textures. And you know the water actually is animated instead of like just being still. Cause there are a couple of courses that are really good that have like really sucky water. And if they like fix the water in the next update, it would look like really awesome. Okay. So this ramp is much more fun than it was on the DS, obviously. Like, DS didn't have tricks, that's the main thing, that it wasn't cool. Like, it was kind of not very exotic feeling, I guess you could say, as far as actual characters go. Like, everybody was relatively flat. Okay, don't even, I don't even know on the cheap cheeps. They made them bounce relatively similar to the one on the DS, though, and I congratulate them because of that. Okay, so there goes a person who got thunderclouded. Oh man, we almost sniped. Okay. Oh man. Well, hopefully that'll hit somebody. Yeah, I do believe Bowser spun out on that. Okay. So this is definitely more of a laid-back cup. It's not quite as extreme as the last one. The water's nice. Ouch. Oh man, that's it more than half your speed whenever you go off into that water. Okay, so we're going somewhere. Yeah, I remember like the last time I did this cup. It's actually the only cup currently that I did that like got a dislike. But I remember like this course was a lot darker uh, back then. They definitely fixed that. Oh, nobody actually hit that yet. Okay, so I know nobody's going to bump into me now. Oh, there we go. That was awesome. It's very rare that I actually get to pass one of those to somebody else. Because, like, people just really avoid me. I'm not very good at hitting people. Okay, so. This is definitely a very enjoyable course, though. It's definitely up there as far as, like, uh retro tracks go. And I like the way they did the trees on this part. They look nice and tree-like, I guess you could say. And then the custom music I'm using works very well too. So there we go. So I do believe that that was the fake item box cup. You know what? It's much better than I remembered it being. Like, they made those courses pretty good. So yeah, that, that was a pretty great cup. Uh, so next time we'll be moving on to the Golden Mushroom Cup, I believe. And that'll be pretty fun. Uh, till then, please like and subscribe. And expect more videos soon. I definitely want to make more videos. You know, it's pretty fun in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, uh, stay fancy. I'll see you in the next one.